So the Bible tells us that the pastor scatters the sheep. Who is the sheep? The lost house of Israel. Right? The so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, and so-called African Americans. Right? right? You, we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel yeah. today. And the pastors, the so-called uh, Christianity pastors, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, they scatter the sheep. They don't tell our people the truth of who they are according to the Bible. Read that again. Woe be unto the pastors. Destruction unto the pastors. We that destroy and scatter the sheep that of what? my pastor. That destroy uh -huh. and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. We don't. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. So the Bible says, this is what the this is what God says to the pastors that are claiming to feed the sheep of God. Right? Claiming to feed us as a poverty people. Claiming to feed the oppressed. What does he say? Ye have scattered my flock. Ye have done what? Ye have scattered my flocks uh -huh. and driven them away. You have done what? And driven them away. So guess what? Pentecostal, you are driven away. Seven day Adventists, you are driven away. Right? Jehovah Witness, you are driven away. Why? Because you can't find that in the laws of God. You can't find uh, seven day Adventists in the laws of God. You can't find Egyptology in the laws of God. But there are pastors set up to teach these religions. Teach these so-called or man-made religions that were set up by our oppressor. Bring it out. Read that again. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Huh. Against the, the, Lord, the Lord God of who? The Lord God of Israel. No, the Lord God of everybody. Of Israel. The Bible says the Lord God of Israel. Guess what? God is only the God of the Israelites. Bring it out. The chosen people of God. That's right. You oppressed. We against the pastors. Against who? Against the pastors. Against the so-called leaders of the black community. We that feed my people. That do what? That feed my people. In other words, that claim to teach my people. What are they teaching them? They're teaching them Pentecostal. They're teaching them Seven Day Adventists. They're teaching them that you can continue to you can you can continue in your sin. And God will still receive you in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Come as you are and stay as you are. Right. Prosperity. Give me your money, your tithes, your offering. Which are lies according to the Bible. That's right. That's what they're feeding us today. Right? We. Ye have scattered my flock. Ye have done what? Scattered my flock. So the house of Israel, we are scattered because we continue to listen to the lies of these pastors of these so-called leaders of our community. We and driven them away. They have done what? And driven them away. So the Bible says we as a people are driven away. Why? Because we believe that the black woman today is our leader. We allow the black woman to lead us today. The Bible tells us that children are oppressors and women rule over them. We. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. As for my people, as for who? As for my people. So the Bible says, as for God's people, who are the Israelites, who are you so-called Hispanics, black, right, you so-called Native Americans. That's who God's people is. Bring it the up. chosen people of God. That's right. Too. We children are their oppressors. Who are, are our oppressors? Children are their oppressors. So the Bible says children are our oppressors hey. in our communities. Bring it right. If you examine the black community, the Hispanic community, who's doing most of the crime? Right. The children, the youth, the young, the young boys, the promiscuous women, Bring it girls. We and women rule over them. And who? And women rule over them. So guess what? The woman rules the community as the so-called are in the black community today. The women rule the children today, my brother. And we are here to change that narrative. We are here to give a correct understanding of who should be leading in the communities, who should be leading in the households. Read that again. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. And women rule over them. We. Oh my people, they which lead thee, they which what? Lead thee. So the women lead the community 
in today's time, set up by America, we cause thee to err, cause thee to, what? to err, and that's why our men, our young boys are growing up without a clear vision of who they are. That's why they're growing up effeminate, emotional, right not up. being able to control their emotions. Jeez. That's one of the curses of our people today. Jeez, That's man. why most of our young women today are promiscuous. Bring it out. Because the woman has no husband in the house to be under subjection to, so they teach their daughter to not be in subjection. Right. Break them up. And so therefore, they continue the lifestyle of promiscu uh, promiscuousness. Bring it out. Fornication. And that's why our communities are destroyed. We and destroy. And you what? And destroy. And that's why we are in dilapidated buildings. That's why we are in a destroyed estate as a people. But we, as the sons of God, knowing who we are, come out here and teach our people Bring it to out. wake up in Virginia Beach. Bring it out. We and destroy the way of thy path. And destroy the way of thy path. What's the path that's supposed to be kept? Psalms chapter 60, uh, Proverbs 6 and 23. Right, the, the path that's supposed to be kept are the laws of God. That's yes, right. That's the path that's supposed to be kept. The laws of God is supposed to be kept in our communities. But the women that lead our communities today, that's set up by the government, that's set up by the Section 8, that's given our sisters gifts mm -hmm. to destroy their understanding of who should be their leader, we... This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. Come on. But out. the commandments is a lamp. What is the commandments? It's a lamp. So when you need light to see in a room, you turn on the lamp. So the Bible says if you want light to understand where you're going, you must open the Bible. You must come to the understanding that you are an Israelite. You must search for your history. But guess what? Christianity is not going to teach you your history, so-called black man so-called black woman, Hispanic man. Right. The law is light for our communities. But why is there no light in our communities? If the churches are set up to give light, why is nobody shedding light in the black community? Jeez. Why is the murder rate in the black community so high? Give me that in our, our, our Isaiah. Isaiah 42, I believe it is. About they are hidden in prison houses. No one's going to tell you, black man, black woman, that there is a system against you. There is a plot against you. When you stay in sin, when you stay in fornication, my brother, that's the plot that's against you. America wants to breed, uh, the America breeds off of fornication. They breed off of sin, lies, and hypocrisy. Why? Why must a nation, why, why would you fuel your government off of lies and hypocrisy? Read Isaiah chapter 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So the Bible says this is a people robbed and spoiled. Who's that people? You so-called black man. That's who that people is. The chosen people of God who are called Negroes who are called Spicks, Teach. who are called Native Americans. Bring it out. We, they are all of them snared in holes. So the Bible says God's people are snared in holes. Snared in holes. What is that holes? Christianity is a hole for you so-called black men. Bring it out. Islam is a hole for you so-called black men. Right. We, they are for a prey. They are for what? A prey. The Bible says God's people are for a prey. That's why the crime rate in our community is at an all-time high. Bring it up. Because there's a prey. Right. There's a predator that's preying on us. And they're using media. They're using the music. They're using social media to influence the minds of our young men. Bring it out. Pushing fornication. We... And none deliver it. And do what? And none deliver it. So guess what? The pastors today are not going to deliver you. The pastors today are not delivering our people out of this, uh, this, uh, this state of mind. Right. They're not waking them up according to the laws of God. Teacher. They're not enlightening them and showing them that they are chosen above all nations. Right.
generation is men leading by example. Nation is you. And fire!